So within Tripwire Enterprise here, this is going to be our file integrity monitoring solution and security configuration management uh, solution. Along the top here, we've got our typical change reports showing us, you know, authorized versus unauthorized changes, the types of changes in our environment. And then along the bottom half of the screen here, we have our IP360 profiling reports. Uh, essentially, uh, what we've done is we've taken the vulnerability management data, the IP360 is collected in our environment, and we've married that with the file integrity data that we've identified with our uh, Tripwire Enterprise in your environment. And what that allows us to do is to build in some reports here that says, all right, of all the changes that we've experienced in our environment, uh, which of the systems experiencing change are maybe vulnerable to uh, heart bleed or shell shock or of those systems, which ones maybe have weak credentials. The theory here being, uh, you know, a system with weak credentials or that might have some kind of uh, automated exploit available is more likely to experience change or unauthorized change. Uh, of all the systems experiencing change in our environment, which of those systems are maybe running some kind of data exfiltration software such as Dropbox or SugarSync or there's maybe a database server. So as, uh, as IP360 profiles the devices in our environment, uh, we can use the profiles that IP360 identifies on those assets and create tags in Tripwire Enterprise to group assets, um, you know, based on software that they're running or the type of vulnerabilities that they're exposed to. Uh, and this allows for some pretty unique intelligence. Using the changes by host vulnerability level report here, this is a really good example uh, of that intelligence coming through into Tripwire Enterprise. It's showing here all their systems that are experiencing change in our environment, and they're broken up between high, medium, and low vulnerability severity categories. So for example, as we go through IP360 and we remediate, uh, you know, all they're on here, uh, this system, as we remediate those vulnerabilities, might fall down to a medium or low category, whereas maybe this new shell shock vulnerability comes out for Hoth. All of a sudden, this comes up to a medium or a high vulnerability severity rating. Uh, so these lists are completely dynamic depending on the vulnerabilities that exist within your environment. Kind of as an example, putting this into practice here, we can see we've got our Empire server here experiencing some changes to the Windows components. If we were to drill down into this actual change, we can see, you know, there's this suspiciously named how to get a huge raise.pdf.exe file being added on to this system. Uh, it looks like it was added on by this Vader user. Now, at this point here, uh, you know, th this could just be another, you know, standard change, but what makes this interesting is that this has happened on a highly vulnerable system. So the story here might be, you know, this Vader user probably didn't have the best one-on-one -on -one with his boss, and now he's out looking for ways to make more money next year, and inadvertently through a remote desktop session or something like that has introduced a malicious executable to one of our critical systems. What's also interesting, aside from the fact that you can see this was added in an unauthorized fashion, is that shortly after those Windows components were changed on this system, we can see there is also a modification to the Active Directory instance on that same server. If we take a look at some of these Active Directory changes, we can come in and see, well, it looks like, uh, you know, there's been this new user who was added into Active Directory, again, by this Vader user, which might be interesting because Vader doesn't typically administer Active Directory. And there's also a modification to the member attributes uh, of the administrator's group. And if we take a look at that actual change there, We'll get the side-by-side -side contextual change of what's actually happened. Here we can see this new non-existent domain user who was just created uh, is now being added into the administrators group in our environment, being given some very high-level access to the systems within our, our uh, infrastructure there.